So I'm looking at a text response that you make, Ms. Davis, to the plaintiff after the disposal of the WEFs. And you say, hey, so sorry for the delay response. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think you would want your extensions anymore since it has been a couple of years, LOL. So I literally cleaned out my salon in January and got rid of them. And then there's like an emoji of some kind. You know what? <laughs> are, are you impressed that I knew that? I'm so impressed. Yes, and I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm so sorry, exclamation point. I should have reached out to you. That's my bad. With that being said, of course, I want to make it right with you. Do you remember how much you paid for the extensions? Am I reading that right? Correct. You do acknowledge that you had the plaintiff's yes. property in your possession. You should have given her a call. You didn't do that. But you didn't lie or ignore that. She actually said to you, well, I'll reimburse you for exactly what you paid for them. But then you said that there was something additional. Yeah, she changed what she wanted and wanted clip-ins. And you were willing to give her how much? I rounded it to $410. Approximately what she indicated that, that she cost. spent, yes. But then she wanted the additional clip-ins. Well, she wanted the clip-ins instead of the WEFs, and she asked for a specific brand. So this was something different, am I right? Ms. Yeah, just a different method of installation. Except they were more expensive. She quoted the price. She I told quoted. her what I paid two years ago in 2020 for the hair extensions, yes, but the hair extension, all of them have gone up in price. All right. Judge. So I don't know anything about the tape, but I've had a sew-in at one point, I've had clip-ins, and with clip-ins, I think I probably use mine longer than, what, nine to 12 months is how long they last, correct? Yes. So with you storing the clip-ins, 18 months went by before she asked for them yep. back. They weren't worn, so yes. did they have a longer shelf life? I don't think so. I mean, they were sitting on the shelf. They weren't even being conditioned or oiled or any type of care at that point. Now, Miss LaRue, she wasn't a regular client of yours. No. Okay, so this was probably the first time that you had ever interacted with her, correct? In August, yes. In August, okay. Do you ever store hair for regular clients? No. And why not? Have you been asked? No. You've never been asked? No, because that's theirs. They purchased that. That's theirs to keep. I, I see that you have a witness. Yes. Can you come up, please? Yes. And what is your name? Uh, my name's Dakota Smith. How are you affiliated with the defendant? I am affiliated with her as her assistant. I was there when we cleaned her salon and threw them away. So tell me this, um, the prep work, what does that entail? Um, so when you remove the hair extensions from the head, mm -hmm. usually there's bead string that you need to take out. With the tapes, you need to remove the tapes and then replace the tape so you can put them back in the head. And I usually like to wash and dry them, make sure it's clean, ready to go in clean hair. How long does that process take? Depending on how much hair, 20, 30 minutes. All right, my question for you, Ms. LaRue, how much did you actually pay for these extensions, the extensions that you asked the defendant to hold for you? A little 407 and some chain. Okay, so Ms. LaRue was asking for clip-ins this time, Ooh. but they were more expensive. Yes. Ms. LaRue, I would think that this would be a steal, right? I'm getting a brand new set of extensions. She's putting up 410 towards the 500 that, how much were they? And you're only paying what? 180. That's kind of a deal, right? 180 versus having to buy a whole new set. Um, I was just asking to have my hair extensions replaced. Okay, so. so I guess you expected her to call you after two years. You're not a regular client of hers, and she was supposed to call you and not just naturally think that you abandoned these? Because in her mind, they've kind of expired. They're probably ratty at this point, probably been thrown around a couple times. Well, hopefully not. That was my <laughs> property, but... Yeah, but you waited 18 months. Well, she offered originally to store them, and as my stylist, I just trusted her... As your stylist, you went to her how many times? Like, four times. So, so <laughs> here's the thing, Rachel, you have your own stylist, right? I have my stylist. I have my stylist. 25 years I've been seeing the same guy. Years and years. There's only one person I trust. I barely let the people here touch my hair, okay? <laughs> so, so I think it's going to take more than just four visits to really establish this sort right. of relationship mm -hmm. with someone to expect her to keep your hair extensions for 18 months. So,